What's going on guys? It's been uh, <coughs> a week or so since we've messed with anything. I've been <coughs> down sick since last week, so I haven't had a chance to mess with anything. But this, we done that, uh, if some of you seen it, that uh, like on short videos or whatever. This is at uh, Remington Super 754. We took it out there and just uh, shot some two cycle down at start just to see if it, you know, see what it would do. As far as this thing, it actually fired up and ran good. Um, what I'm going to do is try to get it cleaned up some. And hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get it going. Uh, so it does have the original Remington 23 inch bar on it. Roller tip, still in pretty good shape. Uh, let's see, yeah, this I thought this was pretty cool. On the inside, it's the top, you know, underneath it's where the carburetor and air filter and all that is, but it still has the uh, instruction manual for the fuel mixture, chain oiler, starting air filter. It still has all that on that piece of paper in there. I thought that was pretty cool. So, I don't know how I'm going to clean all this up without uh, affecting that. I hate for that to fall off. That would suck or tear or you know destroy it. And that and uh, someone put a piece that's what used to be duct tape. And uh, so I don't know if I can get that off without destroying the original Remington sticker or not. But I'm going to try. It's kind of coming off. But all in all, the saw is actually in pretty good shape. Uh, side cover I hit it with a light bristle Man, it's coming off some but uh, I wasn't planning on repainting it or anything but I don't know it depends on how well it cleans up I guess I mean it's you know definitely been seeing its days of usage sawdust bar oil stuff everywhere what you gotta expect this is uh, I don't know the exact year of it but it's uh, from what I could find online uh, they started producing the production year was uh, started out in 65 so eh, ran good I thought at least um, this type of carb I've never honestly messed with myself so I'm hoping it doesn't need a whole heck of a lot of work I did dig around online and uh, you can pick up a rebuild kit for these still relatively cheap so, if it comes down to it, then we'll do that. Um, still has, I should have drained it before I fired it up, but it's got some, a uh, little bit of, I don't know how old the fuel is that's in it, there's a little bit of something in it that smells like gas. But the main thing right now is going to be getting it cleaned up some. And these stickers, the sticker up here is still in really good shape on both sides. Okay, so tempted to go ahead and repaint it but I don't know even yeah, I got on eBay and you can find a whole sticker kit had everything except the Remington sticker on the cover was different but uh, these all matched up it was like 30 some dollars plus like five bucks shipping for a sticker kit so I don't know if I'll these are still pretty good shape so I don't know if I'll mess with any of that and uh, the clutch and everything everything seems to be good I mean, the, chain was engaging when we had it out there so we'll see depends on how much I feel like digging into it there was a guy I thought about um, trying to give it a pretty cool muffler get that to prop up this guy I've been watching online uh, I think going to stay up I can't remember his name but man, he builds these sweet um, uh, mufflers if I can find his name here real quick and it, these things are just pretty cool you guys have probably seen his uh, some of his stuff on there he's he's got a few videos and does a lot of chainsaw stuff and uh, it's pretty cool Kane custom garage uh, let's see Yep, Kane Custom Garage. He builds a lot of uh, 
Uh, let's see if I can show you one. I don't know if you can see it or not. Well, actually, I don't know if I'll get in trouble for showing something like that or not. But uh, it's uh, that's his channel there. Kane Custom Garage. I don't know if I can get in trouble for showing one of his videos on here or not. But uh, you guys get a chance have to check it out. It's uh, you can see one there. It's an old uh, Home Light X12 that he done. That thing is sweet. But uh. So, with that, I'll get the scrubbing on this, and I'll take a look at that muffler and see, because it's, it's shot, it needs replay, I mean the piece is there, it's all loose, and it's got holes on it, but uh, if it's something I think I can do, then I might try something, and uh, see if we can make something kind of neat out of it, I don't know, but we'll see, Let me get the, I'll get the cleaning on this, and we'll see how it turns out. Yep, there it is. It's about as clean as I'm going to get it for right now. Um, I didn't take it down enough to where it could be repainted. I just wanted to get a bunch of the uh, old dirt and machine oil and stuff like that off of it uh, where it was setting. Bar cleaned up pretty decent. It is 23 inch bar. It's uh, the one that came from uh, Remington. It's, it's, it's got its original bar on it and everything. So. Hopefully, she'll run good. I got the cap for the air filter to get all the residue. Was from, <coughs> excuse me, from the gray tape that was on there. Got it off. Just used uh, uh, orange goop hand cleaner. It's got the, the, the gritty stuff in it. Just put a little bit on there. Just took my finger and just kept rubbing it around where that uh, glue from that old gray tape was breaking down. It actually took it right off just rubbing it around like that with my finger and just took my time and it started coming right off which is cool so I hate to have to lose that sticker but uh yeah it's the one I really like I still can't believe that's on there but uh so tomorrow it's too late at night right now to do anything uh just now I had a chance to get it cleaned up get it back together soaked the chain down with uh cleaned the track out and everything on the bar and got the chain back on and uh, gave it a good pb blaster bath until once we get it fired up and get the uh, hopefully the because i didn't think to try it when we had it out there messing with it in that short video and had it running well of course it wasn't really running long enough to even try it was to to make sure the oiler worked on it so but it's got oil in it um it had a little bit of fuel in it, and uh, I should have saved some of that to show you. That stuff it looked like uh, uh, almost looked like uh, coffee with a lot of creamer. <laughs> but uh, got all that out, got the tank cleaned out, so now I'll be able to get some fresh fuel in it. Uh, the fuel filter got that. I got a fuel filter on it, and so what I'm hoping is. There's nothing wrong with the carb because so I got it, I did get online. It was uh, I found a carb kit and it was uh, like thirty thirty dollars for shipping for a rebuild kit for the carburetor. Uh, the one uh, jug, yeah, an oil jug gasket where it splits, uh, maybe not. So there was a bunch of uh, bar oil down there. I don't see any left now. I cleaned everything up pretty good. There was a bunch of bar oil. I was starting to think the jug was leaking. Uh, those gaskets weren't exactly cheap either. I mean, unless somebody knows a cheaper place to get them. I was just digging around on uh, eBay. Found uh, all the stuff on there. The rebuild kit for the carb. Found uh, gaskets for fuel tank borrow tank you know and all that stuff um, so the parts for it that it would need they they're out there I just don't have so I'm hoping it runs because I definitely can't spare the thirty dollars right now for a rebuild kit for the carb so I'm hoping it's all good I did take the top off and uh, this actually separates you got this top part comes off and then uh, this piece here it comes off also so I got all that off to make sure everything was good and clean gaskets everything looked good so 
got all that put back together and uh, so fingers crossed we'll get it out there if it's not raining tomorrow hopefully it's not raining get home from work starting to get a little bit of daylight now when I get home so hopefully tomorrow it's not raining uh, it's no, it's supposed to actually be 43 tomorrow and partly cloudy, so I should be able to when I get off work. We'll get it home and uh, I'll get home and get it out back and see if we can get her to fire up. Man, I'm hoping. I'd love to have one this old that runs really good. This would be the oldest saw I have. I still don't know. It has the uh, original manufacturer's uh, tag still on it. But I was hoping it had some kind of uh, date on it. But uh, all it has is, it's right there underneath the plug wire. But all it has is, uh, it says Super 74 for the model and has a serial number and that's it. Remington. I was hoping it had something there. I could reference the actual year of the saw. So all I know so far is they started producing this model in 65. So that's pretty cool. Be the oldest one I have so far. And so I'm hoping it runs. And this one, I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever get rid of this one or not, whether it runs or not. It's one of those things if it don't run, I'll probably hunt it down piece by piece just to get it running but uh tomorrow we'll see if we can get her to fire up man i hope fingers crossed she'll run all right i'll see you tomorrow after work all right guys well, i got time to get this uh big old remington back out so i got it cleaned up for the most part uh so we're going to see what it'll do. It's got done putting fresh fuel on it. Uh, I had to flush the tank out. I'll tell you what, whatever that was in the tank was just nasty. So, uh, let's see what she does, man. Choke's on. Definitely have to prime it. Hoping she runs. God, I hope, man. That'd be nice. Yeah, it's not, I don't really have a whole... A lot of hopes on that car, but you never know. But it would be great. The line is so dark and you can't can't see through it to tell if it's drawing any up. Definitely got some compression. Open. there for a minute. 
Seems awful cold nature. Yeah, might just be a car with this. It is seriously cold nature, and it's only wanting to run on choke. been sitting for God knows how long. I'm trying. Let's give her some juice. See if that helps. We ain't greedy. Choke it. Gonna try to run, so maybe we are looking at a carb kit and I don't know if we don't have the extra cash. Come on. shot I guess. She's trying. Of course I'm not real familiar with these old saws either but I'm thinking of carb. Do my best guess anyway.
All right, not having much luck with this Remington. But uh, I won't give up on this old dog. For as old as it is, you gotta expect to have some issues. I can't even get it to start back up now. Well, you know, it's <coughs> I'll save up and get a carb kit for it and uh, yank the carb off, go through it, and all that. Because I know it needs uh, what else? There was something else it needed, and I cannot remember what it was. But uh, I can't remember to save my life. We was going to do a muffler mod on it, but uh, I took it off. Instead of being uh, a metal case or a muffler, it actually separates into three pieces and it's like cast aluminum. So I won't be able to weld anything up to it. I mean, it's got the metal sleeve, the insert piece that uh, you might be able to do something with. I was going to try to make a make a pipe for it to come out and up or, you know, something, just something goofy. But uh, that's why I have to save up for a carb kit first and uh, go from there. Get a new plug for it. I have to get it in there and check it. it may not even be firing now. I don't know. But uh, I thought we was going to get it. But it did cut, uh, you know, cut a little bit of wood before it took a dump. But uh, I won't give up on it. I'll tinker on it here and there off and on. And maybe sometime in the future we'll, we'll get it back out and play with it and see if, uh, see if we can figure out what's going on. I think a good start is going to be uh, saving up and getting that carburetor rebuild kit for it. And uh, so that's not bad. I'm saying it said they're started manufacturing these in '65, and uh, 23 inch Remington bar on it with the roller tip. Cleaned up pretty decent. I mean, it'd be a really nice, amazing piece to have if you took the time to, you know, clean all the paint off, repaint it, you know, and all that. But uh, I, I like the vintage look of everything, so it does not hurt my feelings to have it like this. But uh, I'll let you guys go with that, and uh, I'll get uh, I'll start saving up, and we'll get a carb kit, and we'll tinker around with it some more. This one will probably be uh, it'll probably be a while. It'll probably be when it's warm out, so I can get it out here and actually work on it instead of being out here in 20 degree weather. But uh, Till then, I shall see you hopefully here soon. I got to get on these trucks, and uh, especially at K20, that thing. I got two flats on it, and one going low, and got to get it fired up. So uh, I'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.